Of course, I'm very happy uh, of that. The result now is really extremely impressive, and I am full of admiration of what CERN has realized. It certainly is important because it confirms, essentially, most of what has been done in physics, at least the physics which is not speculative and trying to understand things which for the moment we cannot verify, but for most of the physics which is, uh, has been verified, uh, this is extremely important because it really is the stone that shows that everything is in place. Our way is a quantum mechanical way to formulate the theory. We were, I think, well, not I think, I know, we were the first to have done this. And uh, we did it quantum mechanically. And uh, uh, then Professor Higgs uh, uh, did it in a classical way. And I think, in a sense, these two works are very complementary because by comparing them, one gets an understanding, really, but that's a detailed thing, and it's too complicated to explain here, but one understands what is called the renormalizability of the theory, meaning that the theory is consistent at the quantum mechanical level. As I say, to understand this, it's impossible within a, uh, um, a talk like this, but, uh, but uh, I can or specialists explain this. But comparison, or better, uh, proving the uh, equivalence of the two ways uh, gives a strong indication, in my opinion, and not only in my opinion, just, just true. It's, uh, it gives a strong indication that the theory is renormalizable, meaning that, as I said, that it's consistent quantum mechanically, and therefore that it can predict precise experiment, which was totally impossible before. The proof was given in the magnificent work of Toft and Weltmann in uh, 70, 71, and uh, 1900, of course. 